Hi guys, welcome to a, another boot review. Following on from yesterday's uh, unboxing of the Adidas or Adidas Predator Rotario or Rotario or Rotario or however you want to say it. Um, so yeah, obviously it was the last game of the season for my Saturday side yesterday. Um, so I took great pleasure in wearing this boot. Um, which is different from the normal um, the normal predators that have been released recently. Uh, basically, down to the fact that you have a, a lovely soft leather upper. Um, it's the same leather upper that's used on the Copas. Um, as I said, I played yesterday for an hour. You can see already how soft and pliable that already is just from literally from an hour um, yeah so how does this compare to the normal um, the normal I say the normal the normal predators uh, to the OG released predators again here the tongue version with the hybrid hybrid touch 2.0 um, so both boots side by side uh, as you can see very different in the toe box this is much wider this obviously uh, not so much but again um, both boots very comfortable I can wear both both in my normal US size 9 uh, UK size 9 again sole plate is exactly the same as you can see here but the uppers are definitely different you can see the shaping in that there um, sole plate is not the same sort of shiny material shiny finishes that this has got on it um, so yeah um, the Rotario boot um, played for an hour in this yesterday um, straight out of the box obviously I only literally arrived yesterday um, Man, yeah, um, I don't even know what to say. The, well, I do. The only thing I have to say is Adidas, you need to bring out not a limited edition leather boot, just a normal leather boot version of this particular silhouette of, of the Predator. It's super comfortable. It fits my foot shape absolutely brilliantly. Um, I can't fault it at all, um, literally at all. Um, this is definitely heavier than this version, um, mainly because it's leather. I haven't put it on scale, so I'm going to do that in a second. But yeah, um, Adidas, if anybody is watching, listening, anything like that, please, please release a leather version that's not limited of this boot it will sell like absolute hotcakes because it's super plush it's super comfortable yes it probably is going to be slightly heavier um, but again it was just such a lovely boot to wear um, the ground was kind of sticky uh, that was probably the best way it had been raining all morning then it had stopped um, and then, um, yeah, we basically then got um, a very sort of sticky surface. So the boots clogged up quite a bit, which was a little bit annoying, but I don't like wearing uh, studded boots if I can help it. So I stuck with the molds, but absolutely fine in the end, just um, half time pulled off the dirt. And then obviously I only played about another 15 minutes after half time and then that was that. So yeah. Um, I do this little runner's lock, uh, runner's loop here. That gives it a little bit of extra lockdown. Um, you've obviously, as I said, you've got the everything basically is the same apart from the upper. You've got the the strike skin rubber elements. They're super cool. Um, you've got the control frame as as on the other boots, um, but just the, the 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 upper is is the thing. It's such a nice boot. So. Um, I'm going to put these on the scales now. I'm not going to just batter on, batter on, batter on because 
it'd just be a total predator loving basically with regards to these boots so um, let's get them on the scales and let's see what we've got going on here so bear with me I'm just gonna put these on so I haven't done this so we'll start off in ounces. My scales, as I've said before, are crazy. So please bear with me. Let's get this down onto here so we can see what's going on. Okay, so let's go with the OGs first. So the OGs come in at 7.7 ounces. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that's 7.7 .7 ounces. And that comes in at... 221 grams for that boot 221 grams for the og version okay so switching out to the leather version this is significantly heavier 267 so we're talking an extra what 46 grams um let's do that into ounces so that comes in at 9.4 9.4 ounces for the leather version going back to obviously 7.7 .7 ounces there for the original ones so yeah there is a difference in the weight a hundred percent there is there is definitely a difference in the weight but yeah adidas please 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 there's not a massive amount in difference in the weight, but the comfortable, the, the, the plushness of it, the leather. The, the, if, you, if you love leather boots and you love a Predator, they need to bring this back because this will absolutely sell like wildfire. I know they're selling well at the moment anyway. Everyone seems to love the Predator. I love the Predator. Um, it's a great boot. <sighs> yeah. Um, all I can say is I did ask bring it back this if you want a predator and you can get hold of these as a leather version this is the boot you want this is the boot you want whether or not you can get it is a completely different story I don't know if Adidas know that or Adidas know that that's why they've only done this one-off version but yeah everything everything is virtually exactly the same apart from the upper but the upper is really comfortable really plush really nice to wear um, and yeah that's it guys um, thanks for watching uh, I'm sorry that there's been loads and loads of predator content just recently um, but I love the boots that's as simple as that um, please subscribe please follow um, I've got one more version that are due to arrive at some point which is the electricity yellow color uh, i have absolutely no idea when they're coming because there seems to be virtually impossible to get hold of um so there will be obviously just an unboxing of that i'm not going to do a review on them because they're exactly the same boots so um yeah guys uh thanks for watching um it's a simple review just a quick going over there is a difference in the weight clearly but there's also a difference in the touch and the feel I actually do I prefer it I don't know I love both boots I think both boots are comfortable it gives a different feeling 100% it does but um, other than that guys thanks for watching again um, please subscribe um, if you like the video smash the like and I'll catch you all soon have a great Sunday um, and I will try and get some content out during the summer during the closed uh, season obviously we will be training and so on and so forth so if there's any boots that i do get hold of or any boots you want me to review during that closed season and we're training and things like that please let me know other than that guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll speak to you soon thanks mm -hmm.